first trend we're going to talk about is forget about price, make her a smart retail shopper. We know that retailers and brands can't always win on low price. It's not going to be a sustainable differentiator for you. So you need to make her feel like she's spending her money in a smart way because her financial priorities have changed and it's no longer just your brands or your categories that she's thinking about when she's spending her dollars. Her spending priorities today are not on things. The top spending priorities for shoppers are paying off her debt and saving money. So that is your new competition. And although buying beauty products is one in five, that's not to say she's not buying beauty products. It's just when she's thinking about beauty products, she's thinking about where else she has to spend her money. So you really need to make her feel like it's worth it and that she's making a smart decision when she's buying your products. And although price is very important, we see one of the top influencers of in-store decisions is noticing a sale or price, but it's also seeing a new product and wanting to try it, trying to sample in store. If she talks to an associate, that also gets her to want to purchase as well. <coughs> and so for each trend, we're just going to look at who's making her, in this case, a smart shopper, but who's delivering on this at retail. This is an example of Birchbox at Gap. They did a sample in, the, in, in Gap, so it's new ways to try before you buy. So giving her an opportunity to sample products without making a big commitment on price so she's able to test, see that it's, it works for her, and then she's comfortable with it. So in Gap, they did, if you buy, you can pick out five categories, and it's $15. So it's really not a big expense to do that, and she can build her own. Another way to make her feel smart is by giving her reassurance from her friends. We know how popular social is today. So CoverGirl at Target did a example of what was popular on Pinterest and they advertised their products along with how to use them. And these are some popular products on Pinterest. Mecca in Australia did a tweet tweet, everyone's a Twitter about it. And they quoted some of their fans and what they were saying on Twitter. So it could be, you're gonna love this product, it made me feel so great, this made me feel glamorous, it made me stand out. So just some of what people were saying to make her feel comfortable about buying those products. Another way to make her feel smart is to offer her information to make the right choice. This is an example of Nutri Center in the UK. So what they had done as part of their merchandising was explain why you needed these certain ingredients as part of their products. And it was a fun interactive way to flip the, flip the board and you can understand why you needed these vitamins. Another example was at Walgreens. They did a sun care display, first of all telling you how much you needed in terms of sun care, sun care how often you had to use it, and then also giving a digital IQ on what product was right for you. And then it's also important to go beyond item and price to offer true value. So the first is an example from Starbucks. They did a lunch box for $8. You got more than just lunch, you got just the little box, you got a water, a banana, you got snacks for the day. And then Krylin, a brand out of Germany, uh, in their Soho store, they have these kits. And they're mainly for, so their brands, they focus on theater products, so long lasting, but they also have some kits that are just on looks. So every product you need in that kit for the shopper. <coughs> 